Okay, hi everybody. This is Patrick MacGyver here, and I am here with my daughter Emma. And can you say hi, Emma? Hi. Hi. Emma just got back from swim lessons. We're up at our lake house. Uh, she's got a bathing suit on, a t-shirt. And um, what we're going to be doing is I want to share with you uh, some ideas on chalking because I've been getting a lot of questions about chalking, and I just want to share how we can bring this into the salon because there are some things that you need. One of my favorite things, I love uh, the moisture cure from Matrix because here's the thing that people forget about chalk. When you use chalk and powder, you use it to remove moisture. So you definitely need to use a good moisturizer when you're going to be chalking the hair. And I love the way that I can activate this and, and get you know the two phases working in one at the same time. And now, simply, just take some of the moisture cure and right down the strand because this is going to not only protect the hair but it's also going to allow me to get the chalk into the hair easier so that's my moisture cure and I'm using these um, brand new glasses I got to record this so that's why I can do this both with my hands and uh, share it with you so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the chalk and we're going to twist the hair and then we're going to take the chalk and we're going to put our finger on it now you guys know I love to use uh, you can see how much chalk we got into it already. I love to use gloves. I think it raises the level of professionalism. I use them any time I'm touching somebody's hair. So now what I'm going to do is continue just, it takes a few strokes, but what you do is you twist the hair first. That allows us to start getting the chalk into it and really getting it into the fiber of the hair. If you do it flat, it tends to flake. If you take it and you do it like this, now we can start, you can really see the action of the chalk that we're getting on a twisted hair. You can even take it and twist it as you're doing it to continue to get more chalk into the hair. Now, if you want to take this to another level that is um, even more salonable, obviously um, we could lighten this hair first. So now I'm going to take a little bit more twist. You can see it's, it's kind of like layering it. Think of it almost like spackling. You know, we're not trying to do it all at once. Use both the chalk. There we go. Okay, so now we've got a good amount of chalk on there. And what we can do is if we want to set it, now what we're going to do is we're going to actually take a little bit of hairspray. So I like using, for this one we use Design Pulse. Take a little bit of that hairspray, set it on top of the chalk. Yes. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our flat iron. It is hot, yes. You are guessing and you are correct. And for those of you who know um, me as a colorist, you'll find that funny that that just happened because probably the first time chalking, first time I've had to pick up a flat iron in most of my career. But you can see how nicely we get a great chalked effect on the hair by doing that. So it just creates a little bit of an accent to the hair. It's quick and easy. It's something that looks almost like a feather within the salon. You can break it apart further. And if you want more colors, here's another color that, that Emma chose. We're gonna use the blue this time. And there are chalks out there. I've been to shows and we're starting to see chalks at shows that we can retail professionally. Um, we obviously do have uh, the ability to go into art stores. And again, just take this, put the moisture on it first to protect it, twist the hair, and now, we're going to be running our fingers right down the strand as we twist. And again, see how much we got there. Twist some more. Really pack this in. Okay, I'm going to use a smaller piece of chalk from it. You can break these apart, get more surface area. Again, down, twist. down and twist okay so the blue I like this get a little bit more on the top as I'm starting to build that up look at that okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna set this so again we set it by using a little bit of hairspray first and now we can take that and using our flat iron and you can see how the colors start to come back alive as we hit it with the flat iron. With the moisture, it can disappear a little bit, but look at the vibrancy of that blue on brown hair, even without any pre-lightening. 
So now another way that you can work with this is obviously pre-lighten some sections like we just did. And what we could do with those sections is use some V-Light or even some of our new ULs to create more of these colors. But I think it's something that's appropriate uh, no matter what your age is, no matter if you are 11 like our daughter Emma is. Can you say hi, Emma? Hi. Hi. Or if you're somebody like myself who just wants to go out and have some fun tonight. Uh, it's great because when you wash it, it can last for up to a week unwashed, but when you wash it, it easily comes out of the hair. Don't forget though, the secret is protect your hair and use your moisture cure because this chalk is going to take all of the moisture out of that hair. So you need to replace it before you remove it. Have a great day everybody. We're going back to the lake and we'll be sharing more with you. I'm Patrick McGarver talking from my new eyeglasses and we'll be back with you soon. Bye.